Made it. Australia, let's go, baby. Every day I got some fly shit on. Yeah. Keeping all black outfit on. I already back. Hello. You may be wondering where I've been and where have the vlogs been. Well, I'm gonna break it down for you. After all of my travels, I decided to leave the gym that I worked at and I started pursuing some freelance jobs in the video industry. So working with some nightlife companies and clubs, as well as working with a skateboard company. Yeah, so balancing that, editing and doing some projects outside of paintball, stepping away from the docks for just a little bit, uh, only to bring you guys back to where we are now. So that's uh, one thing that I've been up to. So the second thing is, I want to introduce you guys to somebody I've been speaking with. Uh, they reached out to me when I kind of put up that teaser of needing someone to help me video edit and, uh, and hopefully working together, we'll be able to put out more content faster and more relevant. Now this guy took a break from paintball. He picked it back up in 2017. Currently he plays for the San Diego Pirates, SD Pirates in the WCPPL. They're currently ranked first in the series, so he's very familiar to the sport of paintball. On the video side of things, he recently received his Bachelor's of Fine Arts at the Columbia College in Hollywood. He also works as a freelance editor, a production coordinator, and a camera assistant. So I'm really excited to work with him and learn a lot from him. And together, hopefully we can be turning these logs faster for you guys. Uh, introducing my new uh, assistant editor, uh, Hans. Hi, my name's Hans Boysen. I'm a longtime paintballer and filmmaker. And as a fan of Dies on Docks, I became a little worried when the content wasn't coming out as frequently as it used to. So I reached out to Ronnie and asked uh, if he could use my help. Growing up, I religiously watched paintball videos from Dirter and 818 late productions. And I just really admired how they captured the true essence of the sport uh, in a way that non-paintballers could appreciate. Ronnie, I just really wanted to thank you for giving me this opportunity, uh, this opportunity to give something back to the viewers who are the key to growing the sport um, and to be part of this elite group of talented people who are part of the paintball media industry. Sweet, now that you guys met Hans, I'm very excited to resume the Dizon Docs from what it was. Uh, we left off in Prague after we got a disappointing fourth place and from Prague, I actually flew home and, uh, well, if you just watch the vlog, then you guys will see what I did after Prague. So that's where I'm gonna resume the story and, uh, yeah. Too many glasses of wine. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I cannot talk. International. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going international. We're going international. So, uh, I'm home for like five hours and then I fly to Australia. This guy gets to go home though. I get to go see my beautiful lady. I'm so happy. Cause that means I get the punani. Hey. Yo, what up? Here, back in Chicago. I'm only here for about uh, three hours, and then I fly out to Australia for the Super 7 series, Super 7, Super 7 events, Super 7 Australian events. I basically am just stopping by Stella's place, getting to see her, the cat, and doing some laundry at the same time, just because I've been on the road in Prague for the past week. 
say just poops. Oh, you smell like poop. Poop. Yay, so get to see this pretty girl's face. And then uh, I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm back in uh, back on the road. Back in the back in an airplane. The whole travel day so far has been over nine to ten hours, just going from Prague to Chicago. And now I'm gonna travel another twenty something hours. Uh, today's Monday. I'm not gonna land until Wednesday. Uh, it'll be my first time in Australia. I'm super excited. Uh, something different about Australia is you're not allowed to bring your paintball markers because they are considered a firearm there. So not gonna be able to use this guy out there. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy the time that I have here and then I will see you guys back at the airport. You want one of those? Maybe two. Maybe two? What are you gonna do with the cat? Keep her too. Play. That's a lot of work, Stella. I mean, he could probably go in the litter box. <laughs> <laughs> The nice thing about lunch was it was $3.73 because they messed up uh, something with the receipt and charging my card. So uh, they comped the meal pretty much. Uh, now I have to pack all of my clothes in uh, less than like 15 minutes. So uh, that'll work. start the second leg of my trips today. <laughs> Three hour flight to Houston and then 17 hour flight, 18 hour flight to Australia. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, just landed in Houston. Uh, now I gotta get to my gate. I board in like 30 minutes and I gotta go find it. So hold on one sec. Hello, how you doing? Hi. All right, about to board the 17 hour flight to Australia. I'll talk to you guys throughout the flight. So I'm flying to Australia with literally no knowledge of the people picking me up other than that Sam Monville and Tim Montressor had played with them previously. Kinda sketchy. Oh well. Yo! Just got to Australia. I'm with the boy Maddie. Yay! Matthew and uh, I got Ryan back here yo, yo. and I'm all f***ed up because the, <laughs> the driving's on the right side and I'm pretty sure I snuck into the country because I didn't uh, get questioned by any customs and this guy's gonna hit us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go explore the city. Super stoked you're gonna hit this lady now. F*** it. <laughs> um, but yeah, just gonna explore the city, 
and uh, you know, check it out. You guys got anything to say? Welcome to Australia, man. <laughs> So this event uh, out here, the Super 7s, they shoot 15 balls a second and the last time I did that was the Canadian X-Ball League. So I'm excited to just be chopping people down with a chainsaw all day long. <laughs> it's going to be tight. I'm excited. And it's going to be on the prog layout too. Yeah, so 15 balls a second. Oh, <laughs> uh, 15 balls a second on the prog layout. It's going to be crazy. Um, going to be a lot of crazy shit in the center. So how many matches are you proje projecting? Uh, let's so what is it nine? So with the two of the final, let's go with eleven. Yeah, eleven matches. Plus eleven the, matches. Plus the ten men. Or is uh, that with ten the ten men, that's twelve for twelve right matches at fifteen balls a second. Holy sh! Look at this little park area. Pretty sweet little urban area over here. All right, now we got to follow Ronnie into the tour now. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Should we run? I reckon run. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Just showing Ronnie around in the city. It's first time in Australia. He's playing on the Marauders and the Super Sevens. So, hoping to get to play 12 games. 12. Hey, hey we're back. Where are we going now? Uh, Alright, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I have to stop this entire time lapse for one reason. <laughs> it's his birthday today and he just told me. <laughs> what the f First, we need to get you a coffee. Yeah, yeah, let's get a coffee first. Yeah, we'll get a coffee. Let's get a coffee first. Matt. All right, Ryan. Today's birthday. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> what the f Disney. It's his birthday and I came into town. This is great. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is important information what you need to tell me him? right away. I know. I, I, I was, he was too busy enjoying the scene. So. No, 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 no. That's way more <laughs> the scene. What the hell? What scene? It's your birthday. Today's your big day, okay? It's your big day. It's your big day. <laughs> it's my big day. Uh, much needed coffee. I need to stay awake. Sanjay State Harbour Ranger. Oh, yeah, okay. Property New South Wales uh, head office wants to know what's going on over here. Oh, this is this anything authorized or anything like that? No, this was just for my YouTube channel. I could. Okay. Yeah, I could stop it now. So uh, they have. Okay, so that time lapse that you guys just saw was interrupted by the what is it NSW? Uh, New South Wales Ranger. Yeah. So uh, basically, not allowed to film without like a warrant or something. This is it. Opera house right behind me. The Harbor Bridge right here. Uh, you know. Cruising around. Walking around, just <laughs> doing it. Just doing it up. Wow. So apparently, the, uh, the Opera House uh, was made after a basketball? Something like that. So the guy um, designing it couldn't think of a design. I think his kid or something burst a uh, basketball and so he cut it up and then he randomly put it sort of like how they staggered like that and that's how we got, that's how we got the design of the Sydney Opera House. Yay! So, the key is to just stay up as long as you possibly can if you're traveling this far away until night time so you can actually fall asleep. So, coffee, Drugs. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> but for real, 
uh, just trying to stay awake right now and uh, this is gorgeous. Made it! Australia, let's go baby! It's beautiful here. I'm moving to Australia. Thanks for showing me around, guys. Oh, that's fun, yeah. Get in this. More than welcome. Yeah, more than welcome. These guys have been great tour guides so far. <laughs> it's really, really nice here. I really love it, and the, the weather's beautiful. Uh, Australia. Say, okay, I need you to say aluminum. <laughs> no, aluminum. I can't say. Say it. Aluminum. Aluminum. Yeah, oh. you want us to say aluminum? Uh, what? Aluminium. Aluminium or al aluminum? <laughs> aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. Aluminium. There's people climbing the bridge. They get up to. No way. They go up to the sort of quite long way of the motor. Yeah. And then they cross it and then they come down. How sketchy is it up there? Have you been up there? Saw a good a portion of Sydney, the beautiful city of Sydney. We're gonna uh, get back to the car. You guys ready? Ready? Jump! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> back at the car. Uh, so before this, we had Starbucks, and it was both their first times at a Starbucks, and his first time eating a bagel. So uh, roll the clip. <laughs> Those are bagels. Tell me what. Tell me what you just said. I don't know what they are. <laughs> You've never had a bagel in your life? No, I've never had one. No, you, you, you can go, sorry. I'm astonished right now. You've never had a bagel? I've never had one. I've seen them all on, on American shows. Are you kidding me? I never you had get one. get one. It's just bread. There? Yeah, and then you put cream cheese. You've never had a bagel? I've never had one. Have, Have you had a bagel? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Very nice. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, right? I know. So, right now we're gonna head back to the area that they're from. We're going to a wildlife park. So, you get to see kangaroos, uh, koalas, wombats, Sweet. all the native animals, and everything else like that. So, awesome. We will uh, see you guys there. So we've got big red kangaroos here, uh, they're pretty docile but they can be as big as human if not bigger and they can kick you and cut you off. But this isn't him, this, is, this isn't him. No, this is just a cutie. This is different. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> you are so cute. Don't eat me. Put the cop down, you can probably give it a pat on his back. Oh, there you go. Hey. Hmm? Hey. Oh, he's looking for more. <laughs> You're sleeping? What up? Wow. Wow. If I could just sit in a tree and shit all day and sleep, just like this guy back here. Okay, these are yeah, these these are actually everywhere. What's that? These are actually approval people. They look the same. You're the real deal, huh? height 1.7 meters 
<laughs> Dude, these things would <laughs> me up. Baby, lost your tongue somewhere, don't know what to say. It's Batman. Stop and run around, oh, you act like a kid. I am not your mama, just admit what you did. I got enough to do, then hang around and wait for you to grow up and be responsible. You guys are big. You look like a velociraptor. So I hold you accountable, accountable. So grow up. It's cheating season for God knows reason. Stop making up excuses when I simply don't care. Is that you? Number seven, yeah. <laughs> That's you, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at this grass. Out here at Action Paintball Games, where all these Super 7s are held, out here in Australia, we have the Prague layout behind me that I just played over in Prague. Um, and uh, yeah, just out here walking it, checking it out. Looks pretty similar. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was pretty long, uh, but it was definitely crazy to go from Prague home for a few hours and then back out straight to Australia on that really long flight. And then to get picked up by people that I've never met in my life that have reached out to me on the internet. So uh, crazy what paintball could do. And um, now I've had some great friendships that I've built with those people out there and connections. So. Uh, stay tuned for the next one because this barrel cam footage gets real spicy, baby. All right. Peace out, gang gang. See you on the next one. So I